Yo, what's good? My name is Loki Fish, and in this video, I'll be explaining what DMT is and what the experience feels like. Is DMT linked to accessing higher levels of consciousness? Do you become God when consuming DMT? Can you interact with DMT entities? Does DMT expose the pure truths of the universe? I'll explain all of that and much more. So what even is DMT? Also known as the spirit molecule, N-N-dimethyltryptamine is classified as a hallucinogenic psychedelic substance. DMT is the only psychedelic known to occur naturally in the human body. You have DMT inside your brain right now. Furthermore, it's heavily theorized that all organisms contain DMT inside their body. Many experts believe that DMT is what causes you to dream when you sleep. All those wacky dreams you be having, yeah, you're probably just tripping on some DMT. Allegedly, DMT is released the moment we are born, the moment we die, and when we dream. So to all of those people who've had near-death experiences where their life flashes before their eyes, yeah, that's probably just the brain dosing you with some DMT. Similarly to nitrous oxide, DMT can produce a yin-yang state, forcing one to embrace the sagacity of overall balance that the universe consists of. Moreover, the only other way to access the DMT realm is to obtain the pure extracted crystal. I like to call it yellow space powder. Once the space powder is obtained, it can be administered through an IV, encephalated, or just by smoking it. The most common method by far is to vaporize the crystal by smoking it. If one were to consume a large dose of DMT, that's known as a blast off dose. When you blast off, this is when your consciousness is extracted from your physical body, forcing your soul to ascend into an unimaginable realm in which time does not exist. In the real world, the tripling lasts about 20 to 30 minutes, but to you, it can feel like infinite lifetimes. Blasting off on DMT can feel very similar to falling in a K-hole. If you want to learn more about that, I'll provide a link to another video I made talking about ketamine. Anyway, let's cut the bullet. Let me tell you what my experience with the DMT are, as well as some of my personal philosophies that DMT has enlightened me with. DMT has shown me that this current reality in which we reside in doesn't mean jack shit. That's why you should make it your life goal to manifest as much love, positivity, and good vibes as you can. Because there's literally no point in constantly dwelling on all the negatives going on in your life. Manifest all the good thoughts and blast all the bad thoughts with a 12 gauge to the head. Everything happens for a reason, and unfortunately our stupid monkey brains cannot fathom why or what those reasons are. All we can do is accept and adapt the consequences of life. It's a hard fact to swallow that our brains are just not capable of comprehending the true meaning of life. But honestly though, there is no meaning of life. But that's why you have to assign meaning to your life. We may think that we have free will and that we control every little action with our body, but I believe that our life is already mapped out and we are simply living out the timeline in which reality already has set in place for us. Additionally, DMT has allowed me to access more than just the five senses that we are accustomed to. Our biological bodies are physically limited and we aren't able to perceive any senses that we weren't already born with, therefore making it impossible for us to recognize that there's probably all kinds of weird, crazy stuff going on all all around us that we simply cannot see or perceive. For example, explain color to a blind person, explain music to a deaf person. You can't because it's literally impossible. Those people are biologically incapable of being able to fathom such phenomenon. So who is to say that there isn't a thousand other different senses that we are just not capable of understanding? I mean, I know there's DMT entities around us at all times, so... I wonder what else could be floating around. Furthermore, DMT has allowed me to communicate with the higher power. You can call it God, the fourth dimension, pure truth, whatever. Or you can call me crazy. I don't care. I believe all religions are correct in the sense that they represent different ways of interpreting a higher power. Religion is a pathway to finding faith in that higher power. Same with drugs. The conduct of one of us is the fate of all of us. Yo, I could go on for hours about this ish, but I'll save that for some future videos. Hey, make sure to go follow me on Twitter if you want some good vibes in your Twitter feed at lowkey underscore score fish if you guys have any questions or need my advice or want my opinion on literally anything just leave a comment below or tweet at me i respond to every single person if you thought anything i said was interesting share this video with your friends and spread the love if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the hell out of the like button for that good old youtube algorithm and subscribe notifications on if you want to see more content just like this my name is Loki fish be love spread love and i love you all peace out <laughs>